his own name for himself. Yeah, that's definitely something uh, really cool. You know, I've seen all the hard work he's put in over the years. You know, he's been through a lot, and uh, he just continued to push forward and grind as hard as he can. So to see him be able to come in and uh, get that opportunity as a true freshman, be able to play on the same field in a big-time game as my brother, you know, that's something I'll cherish forever. Thanks. You're welcome. Can you get ready to head out to Rutgers? And obviously this team of four and six, there's two games left, two wins away from bowl eligibility. Is that kind of the goal, or is that enough motivation to really get you guys kind of fired up for the rest of the year? Yeah, that's our goal, uh, go 2-0 and over these last two games. Uh, obviously we want to go out in a bowl game, uh, get the extra practice for the younger players, send the seniors out right. So, you know, that's our goal right now to go 2-0 and and uh, make that bowl game. Well, and as a, a senior, how much would that mean to you? The, it, maybe the difference between going out on a bowl game and possibly a bowl game win versus if this thing just doesn't quite work out over the next couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, that would definitely be uh, big for our, us as seniors, you know, be able to go out on top with uh, two or three, finish the season with two or three wins. Obviously, finish the season with three wins is our goal. So, you know, to be able to kind of right the ship and get the program moving in the right direction for next year, that's our main focus. Well, and we talk about kind of this rough patch that the team's gone through in the middle of this losing streak, and some of the teams have just been really good. I mean, it's been some good competition that you guys have went across. But then there's been some instances like Illinois where games have just kind of gotten away. How do you guys make sure the next two don't get away, kind of like what has happened before. Uh, yeah, it's definitely tough. Um, I feel like it's a lot easier to sit around and identify the problem and point at what's gone wrong, you know, what hasn't worked, than to actually fix it. But, you know, we come out here each and every day. Uh, we try to bring energy and, uh, you know, work towards improving. Um, obviously, the season hasn't gone the way we wanted it to, but, you know, that's the way life goes. We're not going to give up. We're not going to quit, sit around and feel sorry ourselves. We're going to continue to try to get better each and every day and uh, get these next two, three wins. This might be a bit of a dumb question just because there may not be an answer, but you talk about maybe identifying a little bit, but going to fix it, have you been able to identify, has this team been able to identify how to fix some of these instances, how to make sure that you guys come out on top? Um, it's obviously, it's a lot more than just a couple things, you know. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different things going to it, but you know, our biggest thing is finishing. You gotta finish. And uh, you know, we talk about I think in the first and the first and third quarter, we've allowed twenty points all season. In the second and fourth quarter, we've allowed hundred. So you know, that just speaks to when we're on the field, we gotta continue to keep playing no matter if uh, adversity hits, you have a bad play goes, you know, we gotta keep continuing to play and uh, keep our heads up and keep working.